theme. So one is one is that um, it, I guess when you if you stay dedicated to a learning model of peer learning and you want to scale up, I mean you you do have to think very very carefully about um, how you're going to ensure that you don't lose anybody along the way. How, how these networks work. So one of the things that um, they were able to do this in Eli is to say um, they could watch who who was supposed to get peer feedback from someone else, and they could see if there's anybody out there who was just not engaging because they they weren't sending feedback or they weren't receiving feedback or both. And then they could ping those people. Um, so that is something that I think in the MOOCs where I was a student, there was, I could hide, right? I, I could, if I wasn't engaging, no one could see that. They would just not know I was there. But here, because of the way they set that up, um, they, they could see where there was expected activity and where there was none. And so I think that that's probably the biggest um, in biggest single hurdle if we're looking to translate the kind of pedagogy that we tend to want to do in writing courses to to a MOOC environment. There's something like